Mad Lore is a series of short audio stories based on the Mad Org history within the Star Citizen universe. Frozen Stars, Chapter 1 In the cold expanse of space, four men embarked on a daring mission aboard their trusty C2 named Frost Wanderer. The ship glided gracefully through the starry abyss as they set their sights on Yella, a frozen planet rumored to house a drug bunker they were tasked to clear. The team was composed of Captain Alex, Lieutenant Jake, Corporal Mike, and rookie engineer Connor. The journey to Yella was treacherous, with freezing winds battering their ship and testing their resolve. As they neared the icy planet, a sudden asteroid storm pummeled their C2, causing critical damage. With emergency sirens blaring, Captain Alex fought to keep the ship under control. I can't promise a smooth landing, boys! Captain Alex called out, his voice laced with determination. Brace yourselves! The impact jolted them violently, and emergency alarms echoed through the cockpit. Despite the crew's efforts, their C2 crashed onto the frozen surface of Yella, leaving the ship in ruins. As the dust settled, Captain Alex assessed the damage, and his heart sank. The once formidable Frost Wanderer now lay broken and battered in the unforgiving terrain. Captain Alex let out a heavy sigh as he surveyed the wreckage. Well, boys, it seems our C2 decided to do a little dance with gravity, and gravity won. He said with a wry smile. Lieutenant Jake chuckled, despite the situation. Yeah, and I must say, that was one heck of a dance move. The judges would have given it a solid two out of ten. Corporal Mike joined in, trying to lift the mood. Don't worry, Captain. I've got some duct tape and a can of spice glue in my pocket. We'll have this baby back up and running in no time. Connor, the rookie engineer, glanced at the battered C2. You know, it's a good thing we're stranded on a freezing planet. That way, the ship will have time to chill out before we fix it. They all shared a laugh finding humor in their unfortunate situation. Despite the crash and the uncertainty ahead, their camaraderie remained intact. Captain Alex patted the side of the damaged C2 affectionately. All right, Frost Wanderer. You may be down for now, but don't worry. We'll get you back on your feet soon enough. Just need a bit of that space glue magic, Corporal. Chapter 2 Amidst the wreckage of the Frost Wanderer in the frozen expanse, the team sought to salvage what they could from their battered ship. To their astonishment, as they opened the cargo hold, they were greeted by a sight that brought a ray of hope to their dire situation. A fully functional tonk nestled among their equipment. Looks like we've got a stroke of luck here, Lieutenant Jake said, a hint of relief in his voice. The tonk's still intact. This beauty will be our lifeline in this frozen wasteland. Excitement filled the air as Connor checked the tonk's systems, ensuring it was operational and ready for their journey. With a working vehicle at their disposal, their spirits lifted, knowing they now had a reliable means of transportation in this unforgiving terrain. With the Tonk ready for action, they set out to the drug bunker. The cold winds whipped around them as they drove across the frozen landscape, their breath visible in the frigid air. Despite the challenges ahead, their spirits were high, knowing they had a means of transportation and a way to face whatever lay ahead. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the frozen planet of Yela embraced the darkness of nightfall. The team pushed on, the Tonk's headlights piercing through the inky blackness, illuminating the icy terrain. The stars above sparkled like distant beacons, offering a faint glimmer of hope in the desolate expanse. The temperature plummeted further, and Lieutenant Jake shivered as he huddled in the passenger seat. Damn, it's colder than a Vanduul's heart out here, he remarked, rubbing his hands together for warmth. Captain Alex chuckled, his breath forming misty clouds in the freezing air. You got that right, Lieutenant. But we've faced worse, haven't we? True. Lieutenant Jake agreed, a smile tugging at the corners of his lips. Remember that time on Microtech when we had to camp out in that blizzard? Corporal Mike chimed in from the back seat. Oh, how could I forget? We thought we were gonna freeze solid that night. Their reminiscing brought a brief reprieve from the harsh conditions, and the camaraderie they shared warmed their spirits, if not their bodies. However, the imminent task ahead reminded them of the dangers lurking in the shadows. Chapter 3 As they approached the bunker, tension gripped the team. They knew this would be a dangerous mission, and the stakes were higher than ever. The bunker loomed before them like a silent sentinel, a foreboding presence in the icy wasteland. The team huddled around the tonk, making a quick plan for their approach. All right, team. We need to be careful. Captain Alex said, his voice low but resolute. We don't know what we'll find in there, so stay alert and watch each other's backs. Lieutenant Jake nodded, his eyes narrowed with determination. 
Got it, Captain. We stick together and take them by surprise. They donned their helmets and activated the external lights on the Tonk, casting a piercing beam of illumination toward the bunker. The cold wind howled around them, seemingly echoing the impending danger. With the plan in place, they began their assault on the drug bunker. The team moved swiftly and quietly, their footsteps muffled by the snow. As they approached the entrance, their heartbeats quickened with anticipation. Suddenly, a group of hostile drug runners emerged from the shadows, catching them off guard. A hail of blaster fire erupted, and the team instinctively took cover behind the tonk, returning fire. The night was shattered by the sounds of blaster shots and the resounding clang of bullets hitting metal. Each member of the team fought with unwavering resolve, their training and camaraderie propelling them forward. However, tragedy struck amidst the chaos. A stray bullet found its mark, and Corporal Mike fell to the ground, clutching his ribs in pain. I'm hit! He cried out, gritting his teeth against the agony. Lieutenant Jake rushed to his side, providing cover fire as he pulled Corporal Mike to safety. Hang on, Mike, we've got you. He reassured, his voice laced with concern. Despite the team's efforts to stabilize him, Corporal Mike's injuries were severe. The biting cold only worsened his condition, and as the minutes passed, his breathing grew fainter. In the somber glow of the bunker's entrance lights, they gathered around Corporal Mike, their faces etched with anguish. His once vibrant spirit now dimmed. Corporal Mike smiled weakly at his comrades. He staggered to get back up, his face contorted in pain, but with an unwavering determination, he steadied his blaster and fired back, providing cover for his team. Go! Get in there! He gasped, his voice strained but resolute. I'll hold them off. Lieutenant Jake and Captain Alex exchanged a glance, a mixture of concern and admiration in their eyes. With heavy hearts, they nodded, knowing they had to trust Mike's final act. As the rest of the team rushed into the bunker, Connor hesitated, torn between his duty and his loyalty to Mike. But in a moment of clarity, he knew he had to honor his friend's sacrifice. He dashed into the bunker, determined to finish the mission and make Mike proud. Chapter 4 With weapons drawn, they cautiously advanced. The air was thick with anticipation as they prepared for the imminent clash with the drug runners. The bunker's heavy metal door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit corridor. Suddenly, Blaster fire erupted from the shadows, and a chaotic shootout ensued. The team took cover, returning fire with deadly precision. Connor's heart pounded in his chest as a drug runner lunged from the shadows at Connor with a combat knife separating him from his comrades. And for a brief moment, it seemed Connor might lose the upper hand. In the heat of the battle, Connor's training kicked in, and he skillfully dodged the incoming strike. With lightning reflexes, he countered, delivering a swift kick that sent the drug runner stumbling backward. Before the enemy could recover, Connor swiftly closed the distance and disarmed him, sending the combat knife clattering to the ground. Their eyes locked in a tense stare down. The drug runner reached for his gun, but Connor was faster. He fired a precise shot, hitting the enemy in the arm, causing him to stumble onto the floor, gun lost in hand. The drug runner looked desperate, his eyes darting around for an escape route. In that moment, Connor hesitated. He had the upper hand, but he couldn't bring himself to take another life. Instead, he signaled for the drug runner to surrender. For a moment, it seemed as if the enemy might comply, but then Connor saw the flicker of defiance in his eyes. Without warning, the drug runner made a desperate lunge for his blaster, and Connor had no choice but to fire again. However, in the midst of the crossfire, a blaster shot grazed his side, causing him to wince in pain. Ignoring the stinging sensation, Connor gritted his teeth and pressed on. He knew he couldn't let his injury slow him down, not when his team's lives depended on it. With sheer determination, he pressed on. But as the firefight intensified, Connor's movements became more labored, and he knew he was losing blood. He stumbled and leaned against a nearby crate, trying to catch his breath and regain his composure. Connor, are you okay? Lieutenant Jake shouted from behind cover. I've seen better days, but I'm fine. Connor replied, his voice strained. But as the minutes ticked by, Connor's strength waned, and he found it increasingly difficult to aim accurately. Another blaster shot hit him this time in the leg, and he winced in agony. Connor, you need to fall back! Captain Alex called out, concern evident in his voice. As the intense battle raged on, a drug runner seized the opportunity to create chaos. With a swift motion, he hurled an explosive device that detonated with a deafening blast. The explosion sent shockwaves through the air, separating Connor from his teammates once more, Jake and Alex, by a wall of debris. Connor coughed and struggled to his feet, his vision blurred from the blast's impact. I can't leave now! Connor replied, his breaths coming in ragged gasps. 
Go on without me. I'll find another way in. The grim reality of the situation settled upon them, and they knew they had to make a difficult decision. His teammates hesitated, torn between their loyalty to Connor and their mission. But Connor insisted, and with a heavy heart, they continued on without him. Connor hobbled to his feet, leaning heavily on his blaster for support. He spotted a vent opening nearby, just big enough for him to squeeze through. Ignoring the pain, he crawled towards it, determined to find a way to join his team. As he made his way through the narrow vent, Connor's mind raced with thoughts of his fallen comrade Mike and the camaraderie they had shared. He couldn't let Mike's sacrifice be in vain. Finally, Connor emerged inside the bunker, his body trembling with exhaustion and pain. But he knew he had to keep going. With every ounce of strength left in him, he continued to fight, determined to reunite with his team and finish the mission they had started together. Chapter 5 As Connor navigated through the labyrinthine corridors, he finally reunited with Jake and Alex in a dimly lit storage chamber. Their faces lit up with relief at seeing their friend alive and standing. Jake clapped a hand on Connor's shoulder and grinned. You're tougher than I thought, rookie. Not many can handle a situation like that. Alex, who was busy checking their remaining ammunitions and weapon, chimed in with a nod of approval. Yeah, you surprised us back there, Connor. You handled yourself like a seasoned veteran. Despite being the newest member of the team, he had proven himself in the crucible of combat, earning their respect and trust. The joy of the reunion, however, was short-lived as the echoes of approaching footsteps filled the air. Thinking quickly, Alex gestured to Jake, signaling a synchronized move. As the drug runners closed in, Jake unleashed a volley of suppressive fire, forcing them to take cover. Seizing the opportunity, Connor maneuvered into flanking positions, catching the enemy by surprise. As the last of the drug runners fell, the chamber fell silent, save for the sound of their heavy breathing and adrenaline-filled hearts. They had overcome the odds, relying on their trust in one another and resourcefulness to emerge victorious. But the fight was far from over.